do some of the same rules apply uh, to refi as when I am originating my VA home loan? And what, what I mean by that is, uh, remember, remember the, the story that you had shared about, you know, the paint peeling on the shed and absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if the, if the home that I currently have a VA home loan on, um, is slowly becoming dilapidated yes. because I'm not taking care of it, um, does it have to be inspected and all that and make sure it's still of value? And if it's yes. not, the only VA refinance option that doesn't require an appraisal is the VA interest rate reduction refinance loan or the Earl. Okay. The other refinance cash out requires an appraisal. The appraiser is going to do a visual observation on the property. And if there is peeling paint, missing handrails, dilapidated fence, it's not safe, sound, sanitary, we will have a problem. But you're probably about to say, but Rick, I'm refinancing to fix the problem. <laughs> right? Yeah. I get that a lot. Um, that is a generally the follow-up statement to the statement that I just made is, well, Rick, I'm freaking refinancing to fix the problems that the VA identified. Right. What do I got to do? So VA... Um, not every lender allows or will, will consider these, but VA certainly allows it. The lender is allowed to do an escrow holdback. And that's a funky way of saying, okay, we had a similar, we had a situation like this out in the Western part of the state. Veteran wants to refinance their house, plenty of equity, good credit, no problem. Problem is the exterior of the house looked like it got hit by a nuclear blast and it was just outside of uh, the drop zones in Arizona or New Mexico or wherever, right? And it was peeling paint pretty bad. Yeah. So the appraiser identified that and it was the individual was doing a cash out refinance for 70, whatever amount of money it was. Part of those funds were going to be for paint, uh, repainting. Other, other was for a new deck or something like that. So the lender agreed, we agreed to do an escrow holdback. So they got a quote from a contractor. It was $25,000. Now let's see if you can follow the math. They cashed out $75,000. Mm. The work was going to be $25,000, mm -hmm. right? So we will hold back, our lenders, most, some, will hold back one and a half times what the work will be. So that's about $37,000. So our attorneys, the attorneys held back $37,000 of the cash out proceeds, hold back, right? The service member that day w instead received cash of about 37,000, excuse me, 37,000, right? We're holding back some of their money. They got some of their money. They paid the contract of the 25,000 out of the 37,000 that they had. Okay. Work was done on the property. We're good. They're left with 12,000 left over their, of their proceeds called us and said, hey, work's done. We went out, inspected it. Well, the appraiser goes out and inspects it. The attorney is then authorized by us to release the release 37,000 that we're holding in escrow. Gets back to them. Now they're at 50,000 net proceeds. They've already paid the 25,000 for the painting and they're good to go. So not every lender will consider an escrow holdback. Some will, and some will have different rules and regulations on that holdback. Some will require you to get three estimates or three bids. Some will do two. Some will do one. And, but it, yeah, it's possible. What we get a lot here in New England is service members, it's January and I want to refinance Rick to repaint my house in the spring. But you can't paint outside because it's cold. So you do a holdback, escrow holdback. When it makes, I mean, well, it depends on, I guess, why you're refining. Um, but I mean, if you're doing it to do renovations around the home, would it not make more sense to do a renovation loan? It could. Depends, though. So it depends on, uh, I don't want to have a general contractor do the work on my house. It's my own house. I'm a pretty handy guy. I just want to take cash out of my house so I can build my own deck. So with a renovation loan, you are required to use a general contractor to do all the work. Whereas if you do a VA cash out refinance as the homeowner and I, and that service member walks away with $80,000 cash 
They can then GC the job themselves, pick the contractors that they want, do it on their own timeline, not be subjected to the uh, sort of the timeline requirements that might be part of a renovation loan. So it's there's different ways that they can go with that. Most of the time, the service members that are planning on doing renovation work take the cash out themselves. And so that way they can, and this is assuming that the house meets the VA guidelines, right? That way they can do the work themselves on their own timeline. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Because I remember in the um, the one we did on renovation loans, you're talking like there there is a structured timeline that an allocation of funds from Correct. the lender yep. to the GC and all that. They'll be doing draws. They'll be doing distributions of funds, and you know it's 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 a bit more. Uh, it's a bit of a process. The renovation loan is a good option a lot of times for those that are looking to purchase a property and put you know whatever the lender allows for renovation costs into fixing the property the way that they like it. And this is assuming that the after improved value will be okay. We don't have to worry about after improved value when we do a cash out refinance because we're going out there, the, the appraiser is doing an appraisal, the house is worth 700,000. That service member can borrow up to 630,000 technically if they qualify, um, if not more, you know. But we don't have any VA loan limits. We talked about that before. Yes. So that's- yeah. That's pretty cool. The free VA New England mobile app is empowering those who served our country like never before. Access up-to-date information on benefits, health care, home loans, and more. Search VA New England in your app store today and access the benefits you've earned and deserve.